Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn around job types. We are going to see what is a service unattended job type, personal remote job type, attended job type, and development job type. Where do you find them in orchestrator? So this is the place called job type. This is where you find these options. And there is something we are also going to learn called run as personal automation. All this demo, let's see in this video. All right, for this, the very first thing you do, log into UiPath Orchestrator. And there you go to any of your folders. So here I'm going to one of my folder. I'll go to automations and here I will go to jobs. So here we are going to read about the job types and see some examples, some possible examples. Now for this, for example, if you open, if you go to a process, right, and pick any of your process, for example, there's a process called good morning. Now I'm going to start a job. It is going to ask me where would you like to run? So you have to select a runtime. So I'm selecting a production runtime and then select your robot and all, all those things will auto populate. I'm simply starting it. Now what would happen when it starts, if you go to the jobs tab, you see a new entry has been made, which said the process name is good morning. And you can see the output has already ran. And here, if you click on OK, right? And this process has become successful. Now, if I'm going to slightly move to the right, you can see all the state is success, priority, all of these things are there. But here, one of the primary important area is job type. So here it said service attended, service unattended right so why did it say service unattended and what is the meaning of it for that let me show you a page i'm going to provide this link from uipath docs and you can go through this entire link okay or I'll simply type uipath jobs you will get this link now here my focus is on job type now let's read it the type of job according to where the execution takes place so what exactly it tells you where the execution takes place and depending on whether the robot impersonate a user or not. So it is talking about this is the important word execution takes place where the execution takes place. This is the important word. So the very first example that we saw is service unattended. So what is the definition here? The execution happens on a server that means on a virtual machine where your unattended setup is done and the robot does not impersonate a user that means it doesn't act like a user jobs are launched from orchestrator so that means the job is being launched from the orchestrator you have seen me when i went to orchestrator i went to process and i have started the job so it is launched from orchestrator so anytime you're launching something from orchestrator that would have this tag called service unattended. This is understood. So job type will become service unattended. Go to jobs and look at the job type. It has become service unattended. Now let us see what would happen if I am going to open it from assistant. So if you see attended, the execution happens on a user personal machine. Jobs are launched from the assistant. So let me open assistant. Okay, let me refresh. Now on my UiPath assistant, let me run one of the process. Let me see what are the processes available in this particular uh, folder. So you can see Acme, smoke testing, good morning. Okay, good morning, hello world, all these are there. So let me go here and let me run one of the process. Let's say hello world. I'm going to run it. It should be, uh, the process should be created in, in the same folder. So if you see, I ran it. Now let's go back, go to the jobs. You can see hello world has come. So what is the job type here? Attended. So now you have got two examples. One is service unattended. The other one is attended. So this understanding should be very clear. Service unattended means the execution happened on a server or a virtual machine. And the robot does not impersonate a user. Jobs are launched from orchestrator. And in this one, the job is launched from assistant. Pretty simple. 
now let's see what is this personal remote okay now personal remote i will show you if you simply type personal remote okay uh, running personal remote automation so this page also i'm going to share the link so when you how do you really run a job with personal remote what is the exact meaning of this let me show you now remember this is only applicable to background processes okay look read this this option is available only for background processes so what we will do we'll go to studio and we, i'm going to select the background process here i will select the template and i'll give some name called let's say background process 2 created okay so in this one uh, let me slightly increase the font here and let us drag and drop one activity one right line activity and here i'm going to simply say background process test and i'm going to save this and let us publish this particular background automation to the it department projects so the name is background process 2 let it be as it is done let's go back to orchestrator and in the orchestrator let's first create a process so what is the name we have given background process 2 select the process hit next hit next again and create so now what happened a process got created if you see a process got created called background process 2 now if if you know while creating this job there is certain important option i am going to show you for example if i am going to hit on job start a job here all the options remains as it is here under the account section you would see an option extra option only when your process is a background process remember this point so here you would see something called run as myself personal automation what is it run as myself personal automation so this is where you find this option so let's read few things here this article walks rpa developers citizen developers and business users through the steps for running personal automations from orchestrator by manually launching a job via start job functionality or by using trigger now uh, start a job yourself so you go to jobs tab you from the process name drop down select the process you want to execute from the account type drop down select a run as myself personal account execute the job under your own identity so this i am going to demonstrate uh, configure other settings following the instruction provided uh, and start a job so here if you see run as myself has been selected so for this let's go back and you can do directly from the process page or simply go to jobs click on start select that process and here i will be selecting run as myself and i'm going to hit on start okay now when this kind of automation runs the job type for me it still says service unattended but maybe i'm using a higher version of orchestrator uh, wherein right or or could be some other reason but again remember there is a job type called personal remote there is also certain uh, you know indications given here the execution happens on a server and the robot runs under the identity of a personal workspace owner jobs are launched from orchestrator so i am actually running this on my own personal computer only not on a server so maybe any any such reasons why i am not seeing that personal remote as an option but for your learning purpose remember this is another third option so service unattended easy to remember attended easy to remember the third one is personal remote now the fourth option is called you would see something also called development the execution happens on a server jobs are launched from studio through remote debugging now if you are not aware of remote debugging concept all you have to do simply go to youtube and type this is a very important concept and required for your exam remote debugging okay so here you would find my videos so this is the video which talks about setup and demo okay setup and demo you try to go through this video which would help you to see 
the practical demo how does that work i have created a remote machine where i was running that so try to go through this entire video you would definitely get a lot of help okay so this is the video which has this uh, you know logo uh, setup and demo okay all right so so if we do that then the fourth type would show us development that means it has run from remote debugging option okay so these are the four different options which would be important for you to understand and learn so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care